Hello, and welcome to the uh, Watch Caravans handover video for the Elder Savanti 454. This is the 2021 model. I'll take you around the outside, show you how everything works on here. Uh, but as I always do on these videos, I will start at the back. Okay. So, first thing to notice, a couple of grab handles for helping uh, move the caravan around manually. Light cluster, so that's for your indicators, reverse lights, running lights, brake lights. You do also have a high line brake light there. And as you can see, a nice tinted window into the bedroom area. Area for your number plate, obviously lit up. And then the corner steadies. So go around to the offside. Another tinted window into the bedroom area. Okay, the first things we get to are the waste outlet pipes, the your grey waste. So the waste from the two sinks, as in the bathroom and the kitchen, and from your shower. Okay, and that can either go with a couple of bits of pipe into the waste master or direct down the drain if you've got a fully serviced pitch. Okay, alloy wheels on these models. Um, wheel nuts are torqued up to 130 Newton meters. Um, on this particular model, as you can see, there's a Power Touch Freedom motor mover. Uh, very worthwhile having. Uh, all of the are manually engaged. Uh, there will be a separate video for that. Now, I've already unlocked all the uh, bits that I can, just for ease of use on this demonstration. Now, the really important bit, the toilet area. Okay, so your pink fluid goes in here. Uh, check on the... Uh, the bottle of whatever fluid you're using to see the correct dilution levels. Put that pours in there. I just use a, an old pop bottle and do the dilution there to get the uh, to get pour in easier, or we'll use a funnel. Then come to the the actual cassette itself. It's the standard Thetford cassette, which is removed by lifting this handle and pulling towards you. Okay. You can take that out. This handle is telescopic, so you, and on, on we are on wheels, so you can uh, for easy transportation towards the uh, the area with the waste area. Now to empty out said uh, uh, toxic fluid, funnel goes forward. Take the cap off, put that somewhere safe. Don't want that falling down the uh, disposal area. Tip forward, and then press on this orange button to release any airlock or anything which helps everything flow out quite nicely. Now to uh, to rinse out, to wash out the, uh, the, the cassette, slide this back, open the top and then obviously with the hose puppet etc I just go in and out and swirl that around. You just see in there a little float uh, that will tell you when the toilet is uh, requiring to be empty. There's a, inside the uh, caravan itself in the bathroom. There's a little light on the toilet that says I need empty. Right. Put it all back together, close that, make sure you do close that, uh, that flap back. Slide that back in. Now, these toilets also require uh, blue fluid. So depending on which one you use, there are markings on the cap for how much to use. Uh, like I say, you have a look at the uh, the bottle of, the, of the, your particular favourite fluid just to uh, get the right dilution levels. That screws back on, twists back in, and lifts up as so. Right, in there. Now there is a little above there. There's a little pipe uh, when you want to empty the pink fluid for winterising your caravan. Take that down, remove the stopper, and any pink fluid will come out. You don't really want to keep it in there over the winter period. Right, next area to come to is the battery box. Oh no, I tell a lie. Just before we get there, we do have uh, a couple of vents there. There for the uh, vents for the uh, heating system, the whale heating system. Um, when using gas, the, uh, obviously we need to vent those airs, the, uh, the fumes and somewhere, and that's where they come out of. Right, back to the battery box. Okay, no battery in there at the moment, but there's your electric hookup. Because in there you see behind her, there's a, a six amp, well, sorry, 12 volt uh, 
socket. As you see here, that's the isolator for the uh, Freedom motor mover. You cannot activate the motor mover whilst the uh, electric hookup is plugged in, which is a good thing. You don't want to be pulling the caravan off, a, off an electric pole. Next area is the uh, is the water system. I'll show you that. Okay, so we have the whale uh, pump that goes inside here. This slides up. Pump goes in there and just clips down, so it clips it into place. This part of the pump goes into your aqua roll, uh, and they're all ready to take water all the way into your van. Continuing along right to the front now, more two more grab handles as you can see, three windows uh, all opening quite nicely, and then the gas locker. Gas locker is set up to take two uh, bottles. Well, that's, we've set it up for propane there, but it can be set up for butane. Uh, also, you've got your Chris, Chris number there, which is the registration uh, identification. In here, you've got your, your water pump, you'll have your electric, electric cable, uh, leg winder, wheel brace, and most people use this yeah, area for keeping all sorts of stuff. Right. This caravan runs on the Alco chassis. It's got the Alco ATC, which is Alco Trailer Control. Also, there is a, a sensor underneath the chassis that if the caravan does start to snake, uh, or move about a little bit, the, it would dab the brakes on to stabilise the vehicle. Going around to the near side, first thing we've got is an external barbecue point. As it says there, do not use gas barbecue in awning. Absolutely right, fire and fabric are not good, not good there, fellows. Uh, I would definitely suggest against that. Right, then we've got an external locker. <clears throat> this goes underneath the uh, things a little bit of space under there you also see that in here you've got a 230 volt socket which you can run through to your awning should you have one on. barn doors or stable doors uh, yeah, stable doors I think we call them uh, so the bottom will stay shut if you have any animals or children Opening light there's your TV and radio antenna Got the air vents with well, the vents for the fridge and freezer. And for the microwave. We've got another external locker which goes under the bed. Nice, it's a nice size area under there to uh, store anything you need to do. That's pretty much the outside. Sort of running lights up there, awning rail. Next, we'll have a look around inside. Okay, stepping up inside to the Elder Savanti 454. Let's have a quick look around before I start explaining anything. It's got a nice L-shaped lounge for a two berth. This is a fabulous sized uh, caravan with a fixed bed, fully stocked, everything you would possibly need. Okay, so now we're inside. On the left-hand side, as you walk in the door, that's where your control panel is. Uh, as you do the well panel there, right. This button, this is your master on switch. This is your internal lights, I'll just show you those. And your awning lights. So this is where all the magic happens. But let's go through the heating controls for you and the water controls. So the first control we see is the, uh, the, the three squiggly lines. Uh, the arrows pointing upwards. That's the, what temperature you like to get inside the van. Press on that, it's all touch display. And you'll see here the other options. So obviously you can go up and down for the temperature. It's very simple. Now we have three power settings. You've got 3.3 .3 amps, 6.6 .6 amps or 13 amps. Now 3.3 .3 amps will heat up everything, but it will be a very slow process. Uh, UK, most sites will be able to use the 6.5 without any problem at all. Uh, 13 amps, depending on the ampage you've got available at your pole. If you go onto that to warm everything up very quickly, 
the the only issue you may have if you boil a kettle or put the microwave on, you might trip the uh, the electricity. Uh, but 6.5 is normally adequate for anywhere you would need. It can run on gas if you don't have an electric hookup. Uh, we haven't got any gas uh, on at the moment, but to just press that to go into gas. Uh, you also have the option of just a fan blowing air around the caravan. Um, so if it is a bit warm and it feels a bit stuffy, put that on. It won't do anything to the temperature of the air, but it will uh, circulate it round. Okay. Now there is a nighttime setting, so you can check change what if you wanted to set the nighttime setting between whatever time. And there's also a frost setting. Uh, you do get a manual with this, so anything uh, you need to find out, you can look through there. Now to return back to uh, your main setting, main menu, the button underneath. Then we go for the water temperature. Now again, we've got the option of running on Eco 3.3 and there's a frost three. Um, I would suggest when going to use a shower, 3.3 amps, but there is a timed boost. Uh, on both electric and gas. However, the 3.3 amps will be more than sufficient. And the Eco will be enough for uh, washing up, having a wash in the morning, etc. Yeah, you know, you'll be absolutely fine with that. But if you do have any questions, you can give us a call at Wiltshire Caravans on 01373 752 100. Now the water, getting water into the caravan, as I showed you the outside on the aqua roll and the pump, to activate that pump, press on this icon here, the water drop. First it will go with a yellow line around it, then it will go green to say it's activated. Well, we haven't got any water in, so I'm just gonna turn that off for now. Uh, also here, uh, it's the time, not obviously not set at the moment, and uh, how much power we've got coming into the caravan. Well, it's 13.6 volts, but we are connected to the electric at the moment. Very simple, full details. You get a, a, a user manual with that. Um, but like I say, give us a call if you have any questions. Whilst we're talking about the water, very important, I'm gonna take you uh, underneath the sofa. And here we have a yellow drain tap. Now when winterizing, you'll need to open that to empty out any water from the hot water tank and from the taps by opening the taps. Uh, you see water to come in, water to go out. All in the manual, as I, as I said. Here, this is your breaker box. So you've got your breaker switches and your fuse box. So as I said, if you trip the switch system, this is the place to go and have a look. Okay, above the area where your TV goes, I'll just show you in, in the corner, there's a uh, TV aerial and a socket there. But above this area, this is where you've got your radio. Uh, it is USB compatible and also has an auxiliary input. Here's the booster for the TV antenna, uh, which is here. Undo this, this shaft lifts up spin it around have a look when you get to site have a look to see where everyone else is pointing their their antennas follow that direction and then retune the tv hopefully that should get you all you know, all good so that, that booster works for both the tv and the radio a couple of speakers inside here in the lounge area as i was saying earlier three windows each one of the windows has fly screens and blackout blinds uh, with those when you are releasing them keep hold of them because they will fly up rather quickly um, opening the window standard handles just open and then tighten up this to keep the window open quite a decent cupboard space inside here and then we get to the kitchen area okay so the kitchen area just by the door, been there by the door, the drawer there, little covering, and for cutlery drawer. Two uh, 230 volt sockets, toaster, kettle, whatever, coffee maker, whatever you want to do. Got a light for 
underneath the kitchen. This light switch here is for the bathroom. We'll get there in a minute. Uh, then we've got the fridge, we've got a sink, nice size sink, mixer taps, careful with the hot water because it does get very hot. Um, so, you know, just make sure you're, you're aware of that. Now with the, the fridge, power on is here. See that's beeping, it's showing the gas beeping. Well, that's because gas isn't connected at the moment. That is the electricity. So when you're on an electric hookup, turn it onto that and that'd be absolutely fine. Gas we've seen. Now this other icon, the battery icon, again, beeping because we're not connected to anything. Uh, should you be going on a long journey and you want to keep some, uh, anything in the fridge cool all the way, um, that runs on this icon here. That would run on the back, on the car alternator. So if you have a 13 pin plug uh, or socket on your tow bar, that will keep the fridge cold. The fridge does have to be cold in the first place, but it, and it will then maintain a temperature. It will not cool it down from the start. Okay, but talking of temperature, the little thermometer changes the temperature on, on the fridge. Inside the fridge itself, nice handy size, little ice box. The ice box does come out if you don't fancy need any ice in your gin and tonics. I can't imagine anyone would want gin and tonic without an ice in it, but that's up to them. Then, the cooker. We, it's the Thetford cooker. So, lifting the lid. Got one electric hob and three gas burners. Um, needless to say, do not shut the lid when the burner is alight. It's a good idea. Or when this hob is still hot, I wouldn't put the lid straight down at all. Uh, standard controls, ignition controls here, uh, full size grill, nice size oven, that grill tray, will, you can use that as an, um, an extra tray within the, within the oven. And when traveling, always make sure this is down. Microwave, 800 watt microwave, uh, glass plate, etc. everything in there. I'm not going to teach you how to use a microwave. You do have manuals for all of these as well. There's the glass plate. Uh, area for your cutlery and your cups, well, your plates and your cups. This particular model has a solar panel on it. They do not come as standard, but they are an optional extra. All right, there is a large mirror here on the opposite side of the kitchen. I won't show you my reflection. I don't want to scare anyone. So, opposite the kitchen side is the bathroom. Like I say, Thetford toilet. As I said earlier, when the cassette requires emptying, that will light up. There's your flush for your pink rinse. This TV, that TV, toilet seat moves around, uh, swivels around. And when you have finished what, putting in whatever you need to put in, to empty it, that comes towards you and then close it up again. Please make sure you close it up again, uh, because if you try to take the cassette out and it's open from in here, uh, it sticks, well, it's stuck. And if you pull too hard, you will break your cassette. Okay, cabinets, nice size cabinet there. Put all your bits and bobs in. Uh, shower, shower unit there. Sink, mixer tap. And that's your shower tray there. It does have the uh, uh, a window in here. I'm not gonna, uh, a window and uh, a skylight in here. I'm not going to open it at the moment because it's wet and I don't want any water to come in here. Um, but this handle, you pull down on it, maintain the pressure, and pull it back towards you, and that will open up. I'll right, get through to the bedroom area. Well, little handy area to put a TV on. We've got a 230 socket and a, a 12 volt socket as well as and a TV aerial or two two antennas. There. The cabinet space, nice size, fixed double bed, and cabinets across. These ended lights here, they turn on and off individually. 
So if you if someone wants a reading light, and there's also a light switch over there. But cupboards themselves, nice size. There's the shower curtain. Uh, Freestanding table. Nice little area for a little table thing on the side for a cup of tea. That's if anyone would like to make me one in the morning. Not really likely. And the rest is just floor space. Same on the other side. And again, skylight in here as well. And in the kitchen. And there's one in the lounge as well. Okay. One thing I haven't shown you so far, underneath the cooker, we've got a couple of gas isolators. So we, that would uh, for the fridge and the cooker side of things. Uh, if you're using propane, you can just turn it off at the bottle. But if you if you want to be extra careful, you can turn them off there. And there's also the um, plug for the electric hob. Pretty much, that's the, uh, that is the lowdown on the uh, Aldis Avanti 454 two berth fixed bed. Fabulous caravan. As I said earlier, if you do have any questions at all, don't hesitate to give us a call on 01373 752 100. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy your van. Oh. Thing I did miss carbon monoxide and smoke alarms as standard in these vans. Okay, thanks very much. Bye bye now.